Breakdown of a Tyco power torque block found in all Tyco made locomotives. The block you're looking at is an Alco 430 on this engine here. It's the same for the 630, the SD24, the F9, the GP20, Super 630s, diesel switchers, sharp nose diesel, SD24 diesel, E7 diesel, and all steam tender driven locomotives. This block you're seeing here is a first generation power torque as there's no vents in it. And these are the later issue. This one has a vent on the plastic cover here. As does this one. Some of the covers are clear as you're seeing here. Again, it's around the first generation power torque block. No vents in the cover. And then the later second and third generation power torques look like this. You're now looking at the gear side of the power torque block on the first generation. The silver gear is known as the pinion or armature gear. Second generation, notice how the holes change. Second or third here, same block. With the power torque upside down on its back here, as you see. If you have an Alco 630, your wheel configuration is like this with the three geared wheels. They drop right in. You then put the truck cover on. Lines up just like that, as you see here. With the view of the 630 here, if you have the Alco 430 and the other two-wheel drive Tyco model engines, they take the center wheel off, and they have this gear here, geared axle, that goes right here. And then the truck covers for those are the same as the 630, right there. This is the Alco 430 side frame and the Shark Nose Diesel side frame. So again, to make a 430 or 630, take the cover off, take your center gear axle, put a geared wheel set in right there, and the 630 truck cover right there. And each of the covers have three of these little screws here. They go right in the holes there and there. Same thing with the Alco 430 and the other two-wheel drive models. Now back to the power torque block. This is the brush and spring side. You remove this screw here and that one here. Pull the cover off. You got to be careful because the springs and brushes go flying out when you do this from the pressure. This here is the internal of the block of the power torque with the magnets on the left and right and the center is your armature winding. To remove the winding as you see in this photo or picture here of the power torque you have to remove the pinion gear which has been done on this model here as you see it's taken off and you have to be careful removing these as they will bend break as the metal is very soft. Here's one that's been completely gutted I did this by putting the magnets, the armature out, and this is what the block looks like inside. And here's the opposite side of the same block. These covers here hold the brush, armature, and springs onto the block with screws in each corner. And you notice they change colors throughout production. The later model Tycos have the vents to cool the power torque down. And the earlier ones are solid, no vents hardly. Very small slots. As you see here, not much air can get into there versus this version here. This here is the inside cover. With the holes here, your spring brush goes down in here. And these two holes here. This here is the power torque winding. This is the brush and spring side of the motor on the power torque winding. This is the brush and spring set, what they look like in each power torque. Not very big, but they're easy to lose again if you take the cover off. This here is the pinion gear. 
it's silver in color and is located on the back side of the block where the gears are with this power torque block here which is fried and burnt up I will show you how to remove the pinion gear taking a small precision screwdriver placing it behind the gear against the block gently pry and it should slide right off you want to be careful is that right there it's off we'll turn the block around remove the brush and spring cover plate using a precision screwdriver slotted Phillips head move the corner upper screw pull it out get the bottom screw out now just like so you want to hold the cover so it doesn't fly off and your spring and brushes go flying everywhere if you lose them they're not replaceable <laughs> alright very slowly we'll pull the cover off and these didn't go flying out luckily and there you can see the brushes the springs are underneath it sometimes they'll come shooting out and that's how you remove the brush and springs and plate from the power torque block once your pinion gear is off you can slide the armature out like that and there's the inside of your block assembly is reversal of re removal an example of an older power torque cover plate the spring is right in here with the brush but it's screwed into the block sometimes these plates will pop as that center plastic is not there or it's either melted down from the heat so as soon as you take that screw off sometimes this whole brass copper piece here will fly off so you have to be careful if it's an older power torque when you're disassembling it I also want to add when you reinstall the motor and reassemble it it may be necessary on the uh, pinion gear when you reinstall it to add Loctite or some kind of other adhesive to hold the gear on as they can pop back off as the fit sometimes isn't as tight as it originally was from the factory once you pry it off so I don't recommend you removing this unless absolutely necessary to work on your engine to clean it out unless it's just really gunked up another thing I want to note or add to this video is that none of these parts are currently available the only way to get these if your engines currently burnt up is just to buy one in working order uh, it'd be nice if somebody made these replacement parts it wouldn't be that hard I wouldn't think but again no replacement parts are available for any of the Tyco engines as of the date of this movie or video being made thank you for watching have a great day